Well, good afternoon, and I want to uh, thank uh, Dan and Mike and Greg for putting on Gadget On. And uh, I'm from Washington, and I'm here to help. <laughs> and if you believe that, I've got a couple of bridges right here on the uh, river. Uh, this is really exciting. I want to thank all of you for your great ideas. I mean, this one makes America great. You know, founding fathers included patents in the Constitution. Think about that. And Tom Friedman, in his book, The World is Flat, initially took a swipe at American ingenuity. And he took such body blows on that that he had to come out with The World is Flat 2.0, a lot of you may have watched him with Tim Russert and Charlie Rose. We recognize that what you do and what we do in America and what we do in the free world with innovation and discovery and the appreciation of intellectual property really does change the world. And you've seen some examples. And now he's got the world is flat 3.0, which builds on that. And very quickly, he's going to talk about green as the new red, white, and blue. Well, Tom Friedman is a pretty smart guy. He's figured out how to take the same book and sell it three different times. That really is innovation. I have great respect for what Tony Tether and DARPA has shown you here. Absolutely incredible what he has done. Uh, I'm with Homeland Security. Uh, that's an agency that is an incredible experiment in nuclear fusion. We took 22 very different agencies and tried to bring them together to avoid seams to make the nation safer. And it remains a work in progress. So Tony has shown you that DARPA is 50 years old. We're not even five years old. And when I testify before the Congress, they ask me why I'm not more like Tony. Well, Tony gets $3 billion, and I get $30 million. So I tell them I'm 1% of Tony. But I'm working my way up. So Tony, thank you so much for what you do. And I want to talk to you a little bit about courage associated with innovation. All of you have the courage of your convictions and your ideas, venture capital, and trying to make it in a very difficult world. Well, it's not easy for people like Tony. I can tell you, when he started that monkey experiment three plus years ago, the Congress said, are you crazy? Why are we taking taxpayers' money to figure out how a monkey thinks? But you saw the results, and it's about giving dignity to disabled human beings so they can live normal lives. That's the beauty of science and technology. Well, I've got a device right here that I'm going to share with you, and I'm going to get off the stage. But uh, you probably saw on YouTube, uh, there's a video going around, and it says, don't tase me, bro. Well, uh, non-lethal weapons uh, are uh, really pretty critically uh, important. And so what I have with me is a Dazzler. Uh, you'll be able to see it. It'll be uh, on the desk uh, outside. Uh, when I was a midshipman, I made uh, the Eagle Cruise with the Coast Guard. And we went oh, about 10 weeks sail through the Panama Canal. But the motions of that sailing ship, a little bit like the motions this morning, taught me the real meaning of the word heave. And so that's why I became a submariner, to get away from that, to avoid seasickness. So the Dazzler is a seasickness machine. And what it does, it uses LEDs, and it's a random generator, and it affects your equilibrium. I'm not gonna point it at you, I was with a group of GE executives yesterday, and I held it up like this, and just the reflection made them nauseous. Go ahead, go ahead, we'll do it. <laughs> come on. Go on, do it, go in, come on, Jay. Come well, on. It's, a, it's a tough audience, you know. And, uh, are there barf bags uh, yeah, at sure. each of the... we're ready. I know you got some paper. Everyone close their eyes if they don't want it. And... Yeah, that's right, and that's an easy way to do it, but it does have uh, uh, some, right, okay. some persistence. And so we're trying to change from don't tase me, bro, to daz me, bro. <laughs> and that's it.
Let me know when you're feeling works, bad. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Jay.